children today i am going to take your geography as well as history class let me first take your geography class rocks and rock cycle today's topic is chemically formed rocks chemically formed rocks are formed by direct inorganic mineral compound precipitated from a salt water solution or as hard parts of organism they collect in lagoons and salt lakes through evaporation Hmm. Aeolian sedimentary rock sedimentary deposits after transport by winds are called aeolian deposits loess is the most important aeolian deposit glacial sedimentary rock the sediment deposited by glaciers are called glacial sedimentary rock these deposits are also known as moraines moraine is an accumulation of material which has been transported or deposited by ice petroleum meaning rock oil petroleum is a product of decayed vegetation and plant remains most of the petroleum of the world oceans is from sedimentary rock particularly in a shallow marine environment rock salt rock salt forms by evaporation in saline lake deep sea dead sea aral sea caspian sea sambha lake etc coal it is also a rock of sedimentary origin coal is really a biochemical rock very rich in carbon during the carbon ferious period 36 to 26 million years ago lush green vegetation flourished and died in tropical swamp coal was formed in this tough progressive state peat lignite bituminous coal etc is formed this way agilious sedimentary rock these rocks are grouped in dietrelated sedimentary rock deposited in water they are commonly clay shells mudstone siltstone and mud characteristics of sedimentary rock on the basis of above description the main characteristics of sedimentary rocks are number 1 the material of sedimentary rocks is derived from the pre-existing permanent rock of any of the three rock classes as well as from newly formed organic matter however igneous rocks is the most important original source of inorganic mineral matter that forms sedimentary rock Number 2 the sedimentary rocks contain layers of strata they are therefore often known as stratified rock number 3 the layers of sedimentary rocks are sometimes horizontal and at times tilted due to lateral compressive and tensile forces number 4 sedimentary rocks are deposited in seas and ocean in a sequential order the size of sediments decreases from littoral margins to the center of the water bodies example boulders cobbles pebbles granules sand shells clay and lime number 5 sedimentary rocks are characterized by different sizes of joints these joints are generally perpendicular to the bedding plate number 6 Most of the sedimentary rocks are permeable and porous. Number 6. Sedimentary rocks contain fossils. The remnant parts of the plants and animals, the age of the given rocks may be determined on the basis of the study of fossils found in that rock. Number 8. Sedimentary rocks may be well consolidated, poorly consolidated and even unconsolidated. Number 9. The riverine sedimentary rocks develop cracks when exposed to the sun. These cracks are generally of polygonal shape. The sedimentary rocks are found over the largest surface area of the globe about 75%. They however constitute only 5% of the earth crust. Thus they are more important for extent and not for the depth in the earth crust. Number 11, the most favorable sites of the formation is shallow sea floor bordering continent. Importance of sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks are of great economic importance. In fact, they have been a controlling factor in the development of the industry, society, and culture. Metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are those rocks that have crystallized in a solid state as a result of changes in temperature, pressure, or the composition of pore flesh to such an extent that the diagnostic feature of the original rocks are modified under the impact of heat and pressure. The Metamorphic rocks generally become harder, denser and darker. In some cases, new minerals form and create a new rock structure. In other words, the mineral remains the same, but the rock has developed much larger mineral grain. These are metamorphic rocks. Most of the metamorphic rock results largely from the moving of tectonic plate causes of metamorphism. The metamorphism may be caused due to number 1, volcanic eruption, number 2, the mountain building movement number 3 endogenic forces number 4 on contact with undergoing water 
The origin of common metamorphic rocks is complex in some cases such as quartzite marble and meta, uh, meta conglomerate the nature of the original rocks is easily determined in other cases such as schistes and genesis it is difficult and sometimes impossible to determine the type of so, uh, source rocks the metamorphism of shale can involve a series of steps depending on the intensity of temperature and pressure shale can change into slate Cities or even genesis. Metamorphic rocks can be formed from igneous, sedimentary, or even from previously metamorphized rock. The major types of metamorphic rocks are slate, cities, genesis, quartz, marble, and poplite, meta conglomerate, and hornfell. And with this, I'm ending my geography class. Now, let me touch your history class Jainism and Buddhism. Today's topic is contribution of Jainism to Indian culture. Number one. Growth of vernacular language. Jain literature was mostly written in Prakrit. Mahavira preached in Arthamagadi as it was easy for the people to understand and later these teachings were compiled into 12 books called Angas. Art Architecture. Jain's contribution to architecture was praiseworthy. The famous caves in Elora in Maharashtra are fine examples of architecture and sculpture. The beautiful temples at Mount Abu in Rajasthan are some of the best specimens of Jain architecture religion. The Jains were the first to make Ahinsa a rule of life. The teachings of Mahavira influenced the people so much that they stopped killing animals for sacrifice. Social impact and welfare of mankind. The teachings of Mahavira opposed meaningless rites and rituals and led his followers to pay more attention to humanitarian services. Damned material spirit. Some believe that the teachings of Ahinsa were harmful to those who were engaged in the defense of the country. People lost their warlike spirit and enabled the foreign invaders to overcome the Indians and to establish their control in various parts of India. And with this, I am ending my today's class. Goodbye.